Hey guys, what's up and welcome to the Phil Studio. Today is a great day because we're opening a SM57. Well, why? Well, why not? Okay, first of all, I want to mention that I've been working in the electronic repair world for almost 10 years and I've repaired plenty of those so if you don't feel comfortable opening your SM57 well I think this video is gonna be great for you it's gonna show you step by step how to safely open it measure stuff and probably even repair your own 57 and while we open it I'm just gonna take a closer look at the design and why it's such a good and popular microphone Enjoy. Okay, so today the SM57, one of the most popular microphone in the world, dynamic microphone uh, made by Shure. It's a cardioid microphone. What makes this one of the most used microphone in the world? Uh, are there any secret in this? Like it's, it's just a passive microphone. You don't need phantom power, but it can handle the phantom power. So, what's the secret inside it of this? I'm going to show you how to open yours, if it's not already done. Um, first of all, you can always unscrew this here to see the terminal, yellow and green wire. What are these? They are the terminal wires from the audio capsule. And be careful because when you screw it back, it will twist, so I suggest you twist it um, clockwise a little bit and then when you screw the base back you're not going to over twist the wire so like you could see <laughs> I'm gonna open it up again here you have probably the biggest secret of the SM57 and it's the transformer the transformer will transform the two pin connection and adapt the impedance of the capsule to a microphone impedance and also provide a bigger signal to the XLR plug. And how do we remove that plug? Well, it's pretty easy. You can see here, little, little tiny flat head screw. Take one of your smallest flathead screwdriver, make sure it's solid, and then unscrew by rotating um, counter counterwise. Then take a small pair of pliers and gently, you're gonna be able to gently pull the XLR connector gently because there are some wire here oh and you know I was wrong no I was right I was wrong I don't know like the transformer is a two pin two two pin so it, it's just a signal isolation uh, and this is something really nice because it will protect your capsule in case you power this up with phantom power the DC won't go through the transfo and won't damage the capsule um, and also it's an adapter uh, for the impedance like I mentioned um, so what is the third pin of the XLR well you can see it's connected right to this little metal plate Did I said third pin first pin is connected to the metal plate which is then stuck in here and is grounded and shielded all the way uh, so the casing is the old insulation so if you have to repair something like that you will have hell of a time to remove the transformer okay because it's stuck and jam pack in silicone in there and yeah this 
this is really not nice to to open but it can be done okay so I just open it up again so you can see that this is a direct connection via the transformer to these two pin here so just screw it back if you want to take a look at the capsule it's gonna be way easier to open it you may be wondering how do I remove the capsule cover like it's stuck and if and if you pry you'll just end up breaking the mechanism so that's really nice because working in the industry that's where I learned that most of the manufacturers are hiding secrets behind their logo well what does this mean is that behind this logo sticker just remove it carefully you can see a little mechanism here there are two pin right now you're gonna push them gently take a smaller screwdriver, screwdriver for that flathead will do the job you have to be really careful here because it is it is a ring lock mechanism which means that the ring is locking the capsule cover in place you'll see when I get to open it in a sec When you unclip, it should look like that. And you should be able to remove the capsule. Sometimes it's not easy, which means that probably was not well closed. And here we have finally the biggest secret of the SM57, which is, I guess, the diaphragm here, this is the diaphragm of the SM57. Be really gentle because it's fragile. You don't want to break it. And this is as far as I remember uh, where we can go inside the SM57. So I'm going to show you how to reclose it right away. So you feel safe to have your SM57 closed back. So inside the capsule cover, just there is a little pin here, a little hole and another little hole. So first of all, you have this ring. You want to put this pin part here into the first little hole and leave this like that. Now you have flat faces on the capsule and you want to align those. You want to align the flat face here. This should fit nicely in there. So you have one face of the ring and gauge. And then all you have to do is squeeze these two little pin inside this little hole here I know it's not really clear you have to slide the pin inside then you should have one pin here the other pin there now it's luck you will hear a little click when it's luck this should turn freely but you may not be able to pull it out so then you put back the cover the sticker and it's like a new one basically there's two part in this microphone the transfer and i can say the capsule the audio capsule so what makes it like one of the best or most popular microphone like around the world? I think 
it's a good combination of audio transfer and capsule like the frequency response is so clean like i think it's years of engineering and designing to achieve something like that um, and even in the transfer like there is a frequency response in transfo uh, the way the coil is made and the kind of wire used i didn't know that but now i know it and it's really interesting and another part of the popularity of this of this microphone i think it's the sturdy case hell this is solid like I've seen video of people rolling over their microphone with a car and the microphone was still sounding perfect. I don't recommend rolling on your SM57 with a car, but it's so solid. Like it can fall hundreds of time on the ground and still work perfectly. And for those who didn't know, the SM58 is exactly the same microphone but instead of having this cool studio instrument cover you have the round uh, the round cover uh, which make it more appropriate for singing but sm57 and sm57 and sm58 exactly the same design what change is the cover so this is what concludes this video don't forget when replacing the XLR connector you have a pin here that should slide into the slot and you slide it until you see the screw here in the hole hello little screw and then you unscrew to ensure And it's stuck in place then you screw to ensure that it's stuck in place so you cannot remove so have a nice day guys um, and see you later in all other kind of video